It's actually a cam. Look at this. I have another unboxing to do. This time it's a digital camera. Yep, another digital camera. This is my fourth digital camera, but I'll explain why. So this I got from Totori camera that I found on Instagram. Ooh, cute, right? They gave me a silicone case for the camera as well. The charger, the battery, and a converter. This one, the battery is super slim. Tonight, you know. Oh, cool. So these are the other three digital cameras that I have. This one's actually a camcorder too. Okay, so this one's also a Sony. This is a Cybershot DSC W200. Okay, this one I bought for really cheap. I was just in Yongsan Station and I was just like looking around and they happened to sell some digital cameras. So I bought it for really cheap. I think it was like a little over 10,000, maybe 15,000. And I should have known. The battery life sucks. After I take maybe like seven or eight pictures, it just shuts off. This one's a Nikon. And this one runs on AA battery or a CRV3 battery. This one also runs out of battery super fast. I need to try to get a rechargeable battery, so maybe that will work a little better. This one is a Zapti Sanyo digital movie camera. I actually really like this one. This one's Pretty good. You can also take pictures and the screen could flip it around. This one I had an issue with the battery as well, but the uh, place I bought it from sent me two extra ones when I told her. And I think just with these digital cameras, it's best to not keep the battery in the camera. Put it in when you need to use it, and then as soon as you turn it off, take it out because the old digital cameras, even though it's off, kind of drains the battery. So that's what I've been doing. And with this one, I've been noticing that it's been lasting a lot longer. So this one, when I get the rechargeable battery, I'll let you guys know. Oh my God, look how small this is. So compact. All right, be right back after I charge my camera. Ooh, it is all in Japanese. I like the sound. I like it. The video quality is a lot better than I thought. It's the Sony Cybershot DSC WX170 touchscreen, very small. Oh, you can also control the quality of the video to make it lower if you want that vintage effect. So I have a lot of Sony cameras. Kind of want one from Casio next. Casio. That was my review of my new digital camera. New digital camera. Oh, Mm. 
Good morning. I just got a new gadget in the mail. I ordered this yesterday on Coupang. I saw something similar to this on an Instagram reel and I was like, I need this. So it's a smartphone magnetic neck holder. And I thought it'd be so fun to film some content with this because it's gonna fit around my head. This is pretty small. Oh, it comes off. Okay, I'm like, how's that gonna fit? Ooh, so just be careful. Oh, whoa, hello, two hands. Okay, that move was weird. Hey, look at this POV. Do you feel like you're me? Hi, guys. Okay, I gotta be careful what I do with my hands when I'm wearing this. Gadgets are always so exciting. Now that I have my new gadget, I'm gonna make myself some Greek yogurt with apples. Hold on, now you get my phone's POV. Oh, this is so cool! <laughs> this is so fun! Wait, but the bad thing is that I, I gotta see through my phone, which I think can be a little dangerous. I have to get stitches on my hand because I cut myself while cutting apples, so I'm very careful. Ooh, I'm very careful. Ooh. Okay, and which granola flavor should I go with today? I'll go with lemon and earl grey scone. Some manuka honey from New Zealand. Because I'm looking through my phone, it feels like I'm wearing Apple Vision Pro or something. Ta da! I was watching the Chris Clemens Met Gala 2024 fashion review, so. I'm gonna watch this while eating my yogurt. Extremely distracting. I'll say that this is on theme considering that it that would change this entire moment. I do think it's interesting. Hi guys. So the last time I went to Paris, I brought back some chocolate with me from a pretty fancy chocolatier, Jean-Paul Hevin. I've been saving these because I wanted to eat them on the next time of the month. And today is that time, so. I'm going to indulge in some fancy chocolates. Whoa, look at this, so fancy. I'm gonna have it with some tea. What tea shall I have? I have a lot of tea, guys. <laughs> Not to brag, but a lot of coffee and tea. But I'm trying to go with something decaf poster. Wait, I also have more here. My favorites are sweet bouquet tea and I think I might have drank all of them, but the pear and honey one, so good. I'm gonna go with Jeju Samda Yeongju tea, post fermented tea. And I like these tea bags because it tells you what temperature and how long you should brew your tea for. them a lot sooner but they're not expired it's fine mm. hazelnut it tastes like the inside of a Ferrero Rocher mm, this one's a ganache dark chocolate 
It almost tastes like tastes like barbecue sauce because it's so dark, but in a good way. You know what I mean? Maybe it's the smokiness. in the fridge and save them for the next time I crave chocolate. I may come down today to get my tattoos removed, the small ones on my wrist. I've been wanting to get them removed for some time and Joan recommended me this place because she's been also going here so I'm gonna try it out today. Stopping Bobby to eat dinner. I want Korean food. It seems so good. in Muji. Not much, but uh, this granola. I just ran out strawberry flavored off granola. Next, I got peanut chocolate. This just looks good. Uh, these two curries were highly rated. Prawn masala curry and butter chicken curry. Corn oat soup. Just got a little dipping plate. I don't know what I would use it for. Maybe like soy sauce when we're eating like raw fish we both eat bibimbap a lot at home but we don't we didn't have like a proper bibimbap bowl so i saw this one and i was like yes we need this it's a nice little bibimbap bowl Mmm. 
one more. Dessert done. It hasn't faded much yet, of course, because this is just my first time. Maybe it's like slightly lighter, like 5% lighter. I think the pain was bearable because my tattoos were so small and each one only took like three seconds, literally. But I feel like for big tattoos, oh, I can't do it. I feel like the pain is similar to getting a tattoo. I don't know. It's been a while since I got a tattoo. All I was thinking was, oh my gosh, thank goodness my tattoos are small because it will end pretty quickly. Hopefully it doesn't take more than 10 sessions. So I just have to apply this morning and night, both for the first three days and then for the four days after that, just this. I'll keep you guys updated on my tattoo removal process. Because my tattoos were small, they just counted the two as one. And if you get it um, like unlimited until all of your scars are gone, guaranteed, they said it was like pengmanon, a little over pengmanon. If you would just want to do it by session, it's like ishibimanon for two sessions. Yeah, all I'm saying is um, think about it, think wisely before you make the decision. I feel like the numbing cream did not help at all. If you have a small tattoo, I would recommend it. If you have a big tattoo, if your pain tolerance is high, then maybe. 